Photobiomodulation, PBM. That's what's going on right now. I am Dr. Wilcox from the Wilcox Eye Center, and I'm actually helping my eyes right now. I'm helping my brain right now. I'm using light of specific wavelengths at certain hertz in order to get me back in hum, to take the energy that may be out of sync and put it back in sync to amplify low power uh, brain waves to optimize circulation. Why am I wearing this contraption? Going transcranially and intranasally, light of 633 to 666 nanometers here, and in near infrared light of uh, energy of wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum of 810 nanometers here. The brain is full of uh, energy. There are delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma waves. These different waves have different hertz of energy in these frequencies. The, the, the frequency, the amplitude, and the intensity of these wavelengths are different. Each one of these wavelengths has different functions in the brain. And when you have a problem um, where you don't have enough of the right energy or you want to amplify it, you're an elite athlete and you want to have better um, meditation skills before the event, um, you have a concussion, you have an eye problem. Right behind the nose is the, where all the blood vessels coming from the, the heart and the neck bifurcate, and there's a lot of circulation there. Hence, the easiest access to the brain and to the blood supply is there. And using this um, certain wavelengths of light, the 630 and the 660 nanometers of wavelengths, it helps optimize what's called your nitric oxide and helps the mitochondria, the powerhouses in your, in your cells, of which we have trillions of these mitochondria, in order for you to have um, the optimal use of energy. So you have 36 ATP made, and you can now uh, provide more oxygen to your eye and to your brain. So photo biomodulation, light life modulating, um, transcranial and intranasal. Those are some of the things we use uh, for our patients with eye problems and also our concussion patients and other patients who have eye problems as a consequence of uh, eye trauma or uh, head trauma. The, we use um, pulsed electromagnetic fields um, with um, the beamer and off camera here is the supply uh, the, for that. But this has 660 nanometers coming out and we expose this to the head and to the eye. And we will take this and use it on the shin of patients because it's been shown that using certain wavelengths of light will help re uh, release undifferentiated stem cells. And so while you're here and we're trying to fix your broken eyes and, or your broken brain, uh, releasing stem cells from the bone marrow in your shin that circulate around and when they get to whatever the body part is, they help repair and make new cells. The use of photobiomodulation in my practice started with the macular degeneration patients. And all you gotta do is go look up PBM or photobiomodulation and macular degeneration and you'll see that exposing the retina to this, these wavelengths, these various wavelengths at certain intensities and durations. Uh, you have to be careful. Um, the, um, it helps repair uh, the diseased eye, helps you optimize your circulation, helps release nitric oxide, helps your mitochondria um, be optimized so you can repair these cells that are changing over every two days and um, watch some of my other videos so this all um, makes sense to you. And we look forward to seeing you at our office and, uh, and giving you the chance to going about uh, healing yourself differently. Thank you.